As the creator and producer of the Incredible But True series, it is not within my province to judge our stories, only to report them as accurately and as faithfully as I can. And so, in this moving account of little Luigi Pannoni, I offer you no conclusions. Make of it what you will. Ken? They lived on the west side of New York, the Pannoni family. Mother and son and grandfather. And they lived happily until that bitter day, shortly after Luigi's fourth birthday, when he was stricken with the dread paralysis germ. It might have been better if he had died. He cannot see, he cannot hear, he cannot talk. What kind of a life is that? Mrs. Pannoni consulted specialists. But one after another, they shook their heads gravely and explained that only a miracle could restore the boy's faculties. That's what the doctors say, Father. They can do nothing for him. Only a miracle can make him well again. Luigi's grandfather turned very pale. And Mrs. Pannoni noticed that when he arose from his chair a moment later, his whole body seemed to be shaking. And that night, after the family had retired, she heard a cry from her father's room. Nina! Nina! Come quick! She leaped from her bed and rushed out into the hall. And on the threshold of his room, she found him lying. He had suffered a stroke. The grief, the sorrow, had been more than he could bear. The weeks passed. And then, on a certain morning in August, Mrs. Pannoni approached her father's bed and bent over him to catch the words that he was trying so desperately to utter. Nina. Sometimes, when the man is dying, he's a prey. And uh, God hears his prayer. Alina? Yes. Sometimes, Father. But... Well, no. I am a prey. You hear me, Nina? Oh, God. Make little Luigi well again. Make him to hear again. And see again. And talk again. This I ask you before I die. Take me, O oh God. But make little Luigi. Make him. him. She knew he was gone. She knew there was nothing anyone could do for him now. And yet, she arose and moved toward the door to call for help. But at that moment, the door flew open. Mama! Luigi! Mama! I can talk again. And I can see and I can hear. It happened just now. I was sitting in my room and... Mama! What's happened to Grandpapa? Yes. At the moment that the old man's last breath was being spent in a final prayer for the boy's recovery, Luigi Pannoni suddenly regained the use of his faculties. Of all his senses. And the doctors had no explanation for it. They could only call it a miracle. Incredible but true. (laughs) 